I'll show you a step-by-step -step process of how do I make my rotis. So I used white flour, add a little bit of oil to it. The reason for adding oil is so that um, your rotis come out quite nice and, um, and moist. It's not very dry. Give it a good stir and then add boiling water to it. So I've added hot water and I'm mixing it with spoon. The idea is that your mixture should be lumpy like this. That means you have added enough water to it. And then once you have mixed it all and um, then what you do is you start mixing it with your hands. My apologies, one of the steps got deleted. So um, you then make a dough. And while you're making a dough out of the mixture, if you feel that your dough is too sticky, you can actually add a bit of dry flour to it and then make it into one big lump like this. And you'll have to slowly work um, with all your um, flour to make into a dough like this. Once you've made it into one nice big dough like that you, and you're satisfied with, the, with how sticky it is, you put a little bit of oil on it and give it a good knead. So you knead it well. Once the dough is kneaded well, you have to again bring it into one big lump. And the main aim is to make it quite smooth um, so that your rotis turn out nice. There, my dough is quite nicely done. Now I'll make it into little balls and make round out of it. It all depends how bigger rotis you like. So if you like a big roti, make a bigger dough. If you like thin and small, uh, make a smaller dough. So you make like this and put it aside. To roll out roti, you need a rolling board, you need a rolling pen, and to cook roti, you need a girdle like that. And then what you do is um, just gently keep on rolling like that till it comes to a size then and thickness that you prefer. Once the girdle is heated, you put your roti on. And the key is if you see hot little bubbles coming out, then you'll have to flip the roti on the other side. So you see little bubbles have come out. Now I'll flip and with a clean cloth, try to turn it around so it cooks on all the sides. It's cooked on one side, flip it over and then your roti should rise. If your roti rises, it's a perfect roti and then take it off the girdle and enjoy.